So why are homeless people associated with canned foods? You know, I'm not sure entirely, but let me um, pontificate on that a little bit. I think it's a commercial uh, association that people want to assume. You have your canned food drives that happen at food banks. What do food banks mostly have but canned food? It's, it's just become a part of our culture because of the, uh, the industry that developed as a result of it. I mean, what was homelessness food like back before canneries? I mean, canneries, they didn't really get going until the early 1900s. So, in my opinion, I, I mean, that canned stuff is simply a, a commercial deal. Because um, earlier pioneers didn't have the convenience, which I don't even consider a convenience. They're heavy. I mean, there's water all up in those cans. It's like you're you're transporting a good 70%, even higher, uh, of liquids, of water, salt water at that, in these cans. It's, it's silly to uh, put together homelessness with cans. I mean... When you're homeless, you gotta carry as light a weight as possible, and these the canned beans. I mean, come on, that's not very efficient if you want to be a good homeless person who want who has a need to get around. It really weighs you down carrying around those heavy cans. In my opinion, the better choice of food would be a dried food. I've been finding these past few months. Uh, I've been switching over to dry food. The, there's a lot of great choices I don't uh, that I, I really like, and I wouldn't want to choose as a canned food. I I'm I hate all those canned beans. They tend to add too much corn syrup to them anyway. High fructose corn syrup. Syrup is a liquidy uh, extract. It's just a drug-like mess. And you don't have that problem with the dehydrated foods. They just have to dehydrate them. That's it. And, I mean, the difference between canned foods and dehydrated foods is they can slap a label on those canned foods so you can associate it with a company, whereas with dehydrated foods in the bulk bins, I have no clue who those businesses are. And I thank them for that. I don't care to know. It doesn't really matter. Bulk food is that. It's just going to be bulk food, and it could come, it could come from anywhere. I just I just look at the actual food itself instead of concerning myself with which companies put it together. Even though the company that puts it together can be a concern, they haven't focused on that with bulk foods. And it's just a shame with the food banks, they could give out more of those dehydrated foods, but they don't because it's company driven. They want to associate a particular corporation with the cans and the labels and stuff so that poor people could identify if they ever get themselves out of their their uh, lower levels of, of lifestyle they can look back and, and think you know hey this particular can company was giving me free food and all that they'll return to it it's kind of an experiment where you, you test out the canned foods and if you like the taste uh, when you're living poor and getting it for free, later on you could buy it. Or at least you'll, in knock, uh, you'll in, um, whatever that word is, introduce your kids into the uh, canned food type of lifestyle. But I think that needs to break. It's not healthy. They add practically, in all the cans, they, they act, add about good 80% of those canned foods have sugar in them. It's just an awfully high number, awfully high percentage. No, I've been choosing a lot of dried foods, but not a lot of grocery stores support it. This one in Anacortes really uh, offers a wide selection of, of dried stuff. And if I were you, I wouldn't go for anything that needs to be cooked. Don't even bother. My God, it's hard to cook those beans or anything else, for that matter. Beans just, wow, they take a long time. I, you know, and it's not too much more. Just let the professionals cook them. I got the, I've been getting the, the pre-cooked um, lentils, pre-cooked peas, pre-cooked corn. All you need to do is add water. And that would be your biggest, uh, say, challenge is finding a, a good water source to rehydrate them.